this is Lori Latimaki with Sioux Chiropathy Clinic and I have a patient in here that has been a long-standing what we call a neuropathic ulcer. Uh, this is one that results from peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy there is a loss of the protective sensation on the bottom of the foot which leads to repetitive stress and unnoticed injuries forming resulting in painless ulcers forming on the pressure points on the lower limb or on the, otherwise the foot. Um, you can see here uh, the soft tissue bulging out of the ulcer and um, what we need to do here is uh, debride some of that down and try to deflect some pressure. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take down this dead tissue right here. So we just surgically debride this. Can't, the skin can't heal unless there's good skin there. If it's calloused or white macerated skin, it's dead skin. It's not gonna. It's not gonna heal. It's gotta go. It's gotta get down to the pink. Remember, I'm taking this down. He can't feel a thing. And when we get a little bit of bleeding and we take the dead tissue off, it encourages new tissue to grow. As long as we can get the pressure off here. Unloading pressure on this part of the foot is really hard. And um, it's hard for people to be 100% compliant. Okay, now that I've debrided, I've cleaned everything, I've cut out uh, a piece of semi-compressed felt. Uh, to fill in some non-weight bearing space and deflect some pressure away from here before I put the bandage on. So I'm just going to bump it up to the wound there and I'm going to apply this directly to the patient's foot. Okay, now we're going to cover the wound and apply a little pressure and we'll strap it down with, with the tape just to get my position. Have the patient keep this on his on for at least two days. I also give him the pattern with some felt so he can cut some out himself when the dressing changes are done to help deflect some pressure. And I'll see him back in a week to see if we're making any progress. Okay, one more thing that we do, um, he walks around with this wound shoe and it's cut out in the front so all the pressure sits to the back of the foot and it helps to also deflect pressure away from the wound.